Welcome back. I'm Keegan Cooper. Hockey is here, and the Northern Michigan Wildcats are set to open their season on Friday when they head to Minnesota Duluth. I caught up with head coach Grant Patoni to get his thoughts ahead of the weekend matchup. I think we've had a good training camp. Um, our, we're probably as deep as a group as we've ever had, especially our blue line. Um, you know, even up front, we're, we're going to have players that probably deserve to play that won't be able to play. The Wildcats have a full team of returners this season, including preseason all-CCHA team selections Andre Gontus and Josh Zinger. Still, head coach Grant Patoni says the Cats have two choices come Friday. When the game starts, we can either be the hunters and we can put pucks in areas and, and forecheck and reload and get above pucks and try to generate some offense. Or if we turn pucks over, we're going to be a situation where we're going to be defending and blocking shots and playing at our own end. Although the Wildcats open the season on the road, the home opener on October 27th against Ferris State will feel a little different this year as the Olympic sheet of ice at the Barry is gone, which Petoni thinks has its advantages for the program. Now with the ice coming in a little bit, I think we're, we're able to recruit to our rink and our league at the same time, um, which, which I think will pay you know, big dividends for us. Friday's opponent, the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs, began their season last Saturday when they welcomed the Michigan Tech Huskies to Amsoil Arena. That game ended in a 2-2 tie. The Wildcats open the season Friday. The game will be broadcast on Fox UP with puck drop set for 8.07 Eastern time. Now, meanwhile, Michigan Tech Husky season already underway. The Huskies are now preparing for their home opener. There were plenty of positives and some negatives in the season opener last Saturday, which Czech will look to clean up before playing in front of the home fans in Houghton this weekend when they welcome Alaska. The Huskies swept the Nanooks last season with two wins, 2-0, two and 6-2. Head coach Joe Sean called Saturday's performance a good start for his team. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything that we didn't expect. We expected a, you know, Duluth to come out and play hard, and they did. They're well coached, a lot of pride. A lot, of, a lot of toughness, a lot of skill. So, um, you know, I thought we, uh, I thought we were good in some areas. I think there's a lot of areas we need to, we need a lot of improvement in. Well, the Huskies are getting ready for their home opener on Friday at seven o'clock against Alaska. Those two teams will square off again Saturday at six, and TV6 Sports will be there for all of the coverage. In high school news, the UP High School football poll is out once again. With just a few weeks left before the postseason, teams looking to move up in hopes for a better playoff position. We'll take a look at the 11-player football poll first. Iron Mountain stays on top, 7-0, followed by Nagani, Kingsford, Menominee, and Gladstone rounds out the top five. Shifting to eight-player football, football, excuse me, Pickford stays at number one with a perfect record of 7-0, followed by North Central, Forest Park, St. Ignace, Norway, comes in at number five. So two weeks left of the regular season, which means plenty of time for the standings to change. Now jumping to high school volleyball. These Division I through three, Calumet comes in at number one, followed by Kingsford, Manistique, Hancock, and Jefferson at number five. And looking at Division IV high school volleyball, Forest Park in first, followed by Rudyard and Stevenson, Ironwood and Kearney, NATO round out the list, both tied in fourth place with five votes apiece. And we go to some college athletics news. The GLIAC announced its Swim and Dive Awards. The Northern Michigan Wildcats took home three of four this week. Sophomore Leo Knowles and freshman Annika Wright were named GLIAC Swimmers of the Week. Leo Knowles set a pool record in the 50-yard freestyle and captured four first-place finishes and two second-place finishes. Annika Wright swept her events, claiming gold in all four. Also, junior Abby Harnd also received GLIAC honors with Women's Diver of the Week. Harn claimed gold in three of her four dives, along with a silver medal. A big congratulations to those athletes who were honored. The Wildcats now have a few weeks off before they head to Saginaw Valley State on Friday, October 27th, followed by Grand Valley State on October 28th. 